Okay. Normal, regular picture, not my favorite picture ever. See, this is why you cannot be on these apps. What's up, y'all? April 7th is the Strawberry Park drop for the clothing. You guys didn't know that, or did you? Look at you wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing both of the pieces. I got the shorts on, pretty hard. The brown sweatpants, those are gonna fly off the shelves. This ain't no YouTuber merch. It's not no, put our YouTube link in the back of the shirt. I wish you guys could just feel the texture. You can't. On what day was it? <laughs> April 7th, and the first 500 orders will ship within 24 hours. If you're not one of the first 500 people, it's gonna take three to six weeks to get your order. You still get it. Yeah, it's worth the wait, I think. The people that are there first are gonna get it within the 24 hours, and it's like, oh shit, I go to school and rock the new Strawberry Park. Or you can wait, which is not that long, three weeks. We appreciate you guys checking it out. This is one of my favorites. With the black sweatpants, and then the brown sweatpants, I also think is like the fan favorite. And then this is just a large and then charged. Like you can see me coming from a mile away. Statement piece. You do a pop-up shop one day, who knows? This is the first installment, just wait. This is just another step for us, another thing to accomplish. April 7th, mark the date. I'll be there early and go on the website. You can get text messages that'll let you get early access, maybe before the first drop, but. And we're not gonna be selling these designs again. Once it's gone, it's gone. This is history, first installment. What's up, we're back. We're looking at Noah's Jubilee episode. I got my own episode. We all made it. We all got on made Jubilee. It. Dang, it wasn't really what I thought it was after. I can say the same. Yeah. I I left there with the weird feeling like, I don't know if I'd want to do one of these again. I left there with the feeling of, they're not going to invite me to be on Jubilee again. <laughs> I agree. First off, when I got the email saying they're gonna be ranking women by their dating profile, off rip, I didn't want to do this. There was no other episode I could get put on. I said, all right, fine. Does that make me look bad now that somebody else should have taken my spot? You fucking did what I did what I had to do. For me, if you're attractive, I'll swipe right. Or if you're not attractive, I'm not interested. And that's what I said at one point. They cut that out. I said a handful of other things. They cut that out. It is what it is. A lot of people, I think, they were like, you did all this talk to get on Jubilee and you didn't say anything. They didn't keep what I said. Oh, fuck you. Can't control that. I didn't get to edit this one. Keeping it three stacks this episode was boring as fuck it was pretty boring and it kind of comes down to not even you and the people on it it's how it was set up maybe yeah like it, maybe it could have been set up in a more entertaining interesting way mm -hmm. the energy in the building for me was mad awkward it was mad uncomfortable i was kind of like spacey in my head like whoa something just feels weird in here they're like and action we all got to walk in right into the middle of the white screen in my head i was like hey this is where they gonna play the jubilee type b because they always play the dum -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> just quiet <laughs> I was like, all right. The guys that I was with, they were super cool. We got to hang out in the green room for like 40 minutes before we started. We were all laughing. Two guys were from Maryland. I was like, oh shoot, my hometown. We're talking to everybody. We filmed the episode. The guys were saying funny stuff. We were all saying funny stuff together. Nobody behind the camera was like even laughing or having a good time. And it just made me feel weird. Like, are we not allowed to like have fun and mm. express ourselves? Mm. It felt weird in the environment at times. We can scrub through this real quick. If you had to rank yourself against others based on a specific trait, what would it say about how you see them? Got the lineup of gals. It was ranking their dating profiles. profiles. So not them, just their profile. And how they see you. To find out, we brought together five women and had them rank each other based on their dating profiles. Then five men rearranged them based on how dateable their profiles looked. This is ranking. I am on Hinge, that's my favorite app. My first prompt here is, let me introduce you to my alter ego. This is a picture of me on set. I like her fit, I think she's the coolest fit. How much do you think she paid for it? <laughs> <laughs> Better not be over 100. If it's over 100, then I don't like it anymore. She needs to be crucified. And then my life behind the scenes is a little BTS video that I made from one of my photo shoots. A little booty too. A little booty, yeah. just a little bit, just a little bit, you know? Is that a diss? Yeah, that was a little weird. And a little booty. A little booty. Little booty. No, no, I got a lot. And I remember, I over exaggerated. I was like, oh, she needed to be at the front. Before we even read anything, I didn't keep that in there. I'm gonna keep it five stacks. <laughs> That's the most attractive girl in, in the group. I had a hard time trying to give my opinion based off. They were saying who would be most dateable for a stranger. And in my head, I kept thinking, oh, I wouldn't date this person or I would date this person. Mm. So I'm trying to like separate from myself. They only kept two words in there, so I'm kind of lit. All right, my app of choice is Tinder because I love this super like function. I love to know that a guy's really into me. So my first picture is a picture of myself eating. Wait, that's you in the... 
we only got to see the women's profiles as guys together, and then the girls came out after, and we got to talk about why we ranked them the way we did. Mm -hmm. And when the five girls came out for the reveal, at first I was like, wait, where are the girls that we just ranked? Guy next to me, they cut it out, but he's like, wait, are these the same girl? The first girl, I knew who she was. The other one took me a second. That girl in that picture is not. Is not. That. They know their angles. Makeup, filter, eh. Five years ago. Uh. <laughs> Five years ago. <laughs> they love the over dramatic. Is that actually you type of look? Did either of y'all watch the Tinder Swindler? I haven't. He got in trouble for like conning women. He made women think that he was wealthy. And he said, just let me borrow this much money. They lent him money and then he's like, I'm gone. <laughs> There's a whole movie for you. Him coming across as something that he wasn't. There she is, coming across as someone that she's not. Ain't nobody gonna say a damn thing. That shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be, but that is commonplace. And I ain't gonna sit here and cap and say guys only do the same thing on Tinder. I, you know, guys are gonna try to do the same pictures too. But come on, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. My first picture is a picture of myself eating because I love to eat. They cut out a lot of things that we said because we read their profiles. Like her thing, she says, I love to eat. And I remember I read that, I was like, don't we all? Some of the little Things in the bio, I was like, yeah. It's quirky though. I Grab the dress. They be thinking like, liking a food is a personality trait. Or it'd be like, future milk. Yeah, I bet. You and every other, y'all can't all be milk. I have a picture of me with lights cause I'll light up your world. A picture of me in this like, really risque outfit. Uh -huh. Miss, this is gonna get some views. I said things about this picture and they cut all of it out. I was being funny, I said, hey, the lighting on this photo goes crazy. Where do you go to wear that? Ryan, are you going to the what, theater? No. <laughs> hey babe, you ready? Yeah, I'm almost ready. How does this look? We're going to in and out <laughs> You better make sure that thing is double knotted on the bottom. And does it stop at the knees? I don't know what happened after this. I am genuinely not a picky person when it comes to outfits. That is not my favorite outfit. I hope it's cheap though. If it's not under a hundred, I'm gonna fucking come after. I got a little too tipsy and tried to steal a cheeseburger. So I just want to let them know that even if I'm drunk, I'll still take care of them. I, that was supposed to be funny or something. I don't know. She had another slide too. I'm not here to bash her, but she had another slide where it was her rapping in the studio. Like she was on a mic and she's like, show people that I do other stuff. It was just like. Like seriously? Yeah, it was like seriously. Yeah, see, they cut it out though. Even Jubilee cut that part out. There's some things you just don't show. And my bio says, do you have back pain? Headaches, stomach aches, it's probably because you're bending over backwards and stressing over someone who isn't feeding you right. Now with the new improved Gloria, you can feel at ease again. She said feeding you right? Yeah. I'll respect that. That was funny. She put effort into that. If a girl's cooking me meals and shit, say less. I was gonna say, I like that. That's awesome. Okay. Normal, regular picture, not my favorite picture ever. When they walked out, I was trying to find Molly. See, this is why you cannot be on these apps. You cannot trust social media. Those are two different people. It's not just me. Yeah, see, I, I could see how it could have been hard. To yeah, 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 it was a little hard, it was a little hard. Is that being mean and disrespectful? I don't think so. It's kind of being mean that you're doing this to us, like. <laughs> Clearly, this girl doesn't look like this picture. Nobody will dispute that. Okay, glad y'all helped me out and agreed on that. But these girls aren't going to say, that don't look like you. Why can't people say what it is? And if you say it, that Jubilee will cut it. And she could be a nice person. I don't know who she is. But I feel like this is, in general, what I look like. And then this is my dog. She said, in general, that's what she looks like. This is like. just in general what I look like on a daily basis. <laughs> I do feel that that is unethical. I don't want to be a hard ass and be like, you don't look like, meh, meh. But I'm trying to help out the guys are, that might swipe on these girls. I think this is a lesson more to guys because girls are going to keep doing this. Get the FaceTime. FaceTime these girls quick. And it can work on Instagram, but not for the dating profile. The but best. it doesn't work when you're on a Jubilee video and it's right and left and you get to compare <laughs> and it. And you got all the lights on. And you know, every single girl in the back of their head's like, you don't look like that. They didn't say anything. Oh like, my god, it's oh working! Yeah. That little booty! I like to throw out like my little pickup line. If you had to choose, what kitchen utensil would you be? And then they'll be like, oh, a spatula? I don't know, like what about you? And be like, I want to be a little spoon. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she likes that one. I would have guessed spoon right off the jump though, that's just me. Cause you can see where it's going. That would work on you, Ryan. Uh, let me tell you something, Rob. Uh, <laughs> women don't really message first on apps. I mean, I would know that because I talk to a lot of women. They want the guy to message first and then they decide if they want to respond. Yeah, I, Having game is really a guy's thing. A guy has to be able to do the thing, say the right thing, the joke, the girls, they kind of just have to stand there and be pretty. And then pick. And then they pick. You can pick. Which which guy they want, DM, whatever they want. So that's very interesting. That a girl with a pickup line. Has a girl ever given y'all a pickup line? No. Yeah, I'll get a corny one here and there. Okay. And are they bad girls? Well, they're right. not my <laughs> cup of tea. First photo is just kind of just a eh photo of me. I can respect the eh photo though. And then I put a little like risque photo of me at the beach. Hold on. Catch the eye. 
Hey. This is me on Hinge. This picture was from Halloween. It's actually a trap because <laughs> it's just like a lot of booty meat out. And if they like that picture first, I'm like, I automatically don't want to talk to you. Okay, with the trap. Girls put trap photos on their dating profiles now. If you swipe right on that and say, hey, cutie. No. And run it back like a where she put it in her bio. Passionately pursuing their purpose in life, relationships come and go, but what motivates you to wake up? Okay, like, and then you see <laughs> What the, up, bitch? You, you have some ass. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you go to the bottom, you're like, oh, hey, hello. You're on a dating app. They're gonna base on what you look like. You can say, I'm passionate about love and this, and love comes, no one gives a fuck. Nobody That's cares. what I'm saying. Nobody <laughs> cares. Bro. And I tried to say that in a nice, politically way, and it didn't get in there. And they wanted us to really judge them based off the stuff in their bio. But like I said, most of us don't even because care. she knows that we don't care. You put the trap photo because you know that's what this app is for. She just said, I have this risque photo, which I did not think was that risque. I'm showing a little booty me. And if he likes this one first, then I say no. So you put a picture out there saying, this is me. And if the guy likes it, you say, oh, I don't like you. What kind of logic is that? And here's a risque picture of me. You like it? Yeah. No, nope, no. Nope. What are we doing here? If it means that much to you, don't include the photo. You're putting a picture that you know is going to get Trash. attention. And then when you get attention, you don't want that? No, it's my trap photo. So do you want no matches? What? When she matches with somebody, by the way, did you like me for my uh, my message or for my last photo? <laughs> Please say the message, because I really like you. Oh, I like you, that last photo, you look really good. Dilly. And is she actually doing that though? No, no, she's, no not. she's not. She's not. This is Caperone. Maybe she felt weird that she had her little risque photo and had it show in front of the girl. I don't know. Because if a man that was attractive, that she liked, liked what? that photo, said, hey, that last picture was bang, and she'd be like, oh my God, thank you. This is Cap for camera. Again, just say the politically correct thing. Just say you want validation. Just say it. it. It's okay. I want it too. I want to look good. I want to get matches. I'm on a dating app. I had a shredded eight pack and that was my first pack. Like, I usually pick this one because I know the girls are like, right? What's wrong with saying that? I'm on the app. I'm trying to get as many matches so I can sift through and find a potential mate. She might like someone who's passionately pursuing their purpose. If they look good. You'll get better results if you are more true to yourself and more straight up rather than. That's why I respected the girl before and she was like, I don't bite unless you want me to. I was like, yeah. okay. Oh, she's being playful. And she was like, oh, I don't think this is the best photo of me, but it's like, eh, It's whatever. my aunt photo. Okay. okay, respect, respect. Asian girl was the only one not bullshitting on there. And she had the one with the bathing suit, cause she, deep down she knows, what do man wanna see? And she filtered that through her little bio and I was like, okay, I, I like this, more truthful. I put that because I feel like sometimes I meet guys and they're like, oh, I just like money or drugs or like, I'm like, okay, but like, what else? <laughs> <laughs> this video is kind of interesting. <laughs> okay, I never, I never analyzed it. Talk to guys and they'll say, I just like money or drugs. And she goes, well, what else? You didn't disqualify him after he said, I like drugs? Well, what else? I know you like that, but what else? Why'd you give him a chance? She just articulated. The guys that she talks to talk about money and drugs, but then in her bio, it's passionately pursuing their purpose and... <laughs> So here's the punchline. The women must not rank themselves from least to most dateable. What is your guys' definition of dateable? You have to look good and that's fucking it. I think all of the guys, none of us said anything about appearances, so we kind of didn't say anything about that. And women ranking themselves about who's most dateable, that's not even gonna happen. They're not Dude. gonna be truthful. As, no. It's not even gonna be a, an honest thing. But as the guys, when we were collective, we thought dating as like long terms, we were like, oh, okay, if we have to choose out of these five girls, which person we would think would be the most dateable to a stranger. We weren't thinking about hookups or casual one night. But again, I could say the best poetic poetry of my thing, but I have no personality in person. Like, I'm judging them off their photos. I can't really. I guess that's the whole name of the game. Yeah. That's why I say, how hard is it though for like ugly guys to get matches? They, they could be the coolest, charming, funniest guys, but if they, they don't look good, they could have fat. Yeah, because you can be all these things that these girls want you to be. You can be passionately pursuing something. You can have the right head on your shoulders. But if you're ugly, you're not getting no matches. And then do you think the girl that they were ranking the guys profiles, do you think they're really digging in deep to our bios or they're seeing? No. Who my friends think he's cute? Uh, his hair is kind of the other way. <laughs> well, let's see how they rank themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and put me last because I know I'm like just a walking red flag. <laughs> Why'd she say that? Uh. I might go for the last spot just because I feel like my profile is like kind of basic and also like hinge gives you a lot of prompts to like actually really showcase yourself. And I feel like like with Bumble, like it just doesn't have that. Her and curly hair black girl are one and two. <laughs> yep. The rest they can fight for the. <laughs> I'm gonna reserve this one for me, but <laughs> I wanna put my phone down in the fourth spot because I feel like you don't know that much about me from my page. I do. Why are you rapping? I honestly, <laughs> so true. All right. 
Cool. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. We'll just put this there, okay. <laughs> this is like female nature 101. Nobody's trying to step on anyone's toes. I'm just gonna put myself at the end, and you should move up because your thing was bitching. So put it up there. And I'll go at the end, I'll go at the end. Yeah, and then now the other girls, oh shit, I have to be the first one? No, I'm not no better than you. When they go home and talk to their other girlfriends that they're actually friends with, that bitch on the set didn't even fucking yeah. know blah, blah, blah. Yes. And you know, like two days prior, they were getting their profiles to be exactly how they wanted it, so it's for the show, and then, well, mine's kind of basic. Mine's basic too. We're all basic, we're basic. We're basic. <laughs> I'm gonna make a switch right here. Molly, you had such good, like, Conversation starters that shows like that you've traveled so much and I remember things about your profile <laughs> like <laughs> I think you should definitely be up here Bro, they just so Holy shit. They're okay. just kind of doing whatever. What's the fucking point? All right, what do they what do they end on? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, every girl went in and changed theirs again. Completely. Why don't you want to be at the top? Just stay at the top. Just stay. Just. The people didn't give us like how much to talk about each person. What do you want us to kind of talk about at everybody's profile? Is that they gave us a floor, and while we were talking about someone, they're like, "You guys are taking too long. Go to the next one." Mid conversation. Oh, let's talk about her. It was kind of a little chaotic. Monica. Okay, so she, she's is she a model? I like to see her in, in a natural environment with some friends, maybe a candid mm -hmm. photo. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Grace. So, so she's a yeah. So she look, like yeah. I respect the honesty. I think the don't know yet thing That's says annoying. the most out of all the tags. Uh, I think they're casual. looking for something casual, but they don't want to say that. It's casual. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the best travel story. Getting stranded on a nude beach in Mexico when the boat ran out of gas. So I need somebody that, like, if there's a problem, I need a solution. Yes, the, the backstory of this photo. Okay, that looks fun. That does look so cool outfits. Cucumbers? I honestly, I didn't see your face very much. Yeah, Give me a nice, well-framed headshot. The red-haired dude is kind of like A-type personality, like has to say something about yeah, everything. Yeah, I remember he was like an actor theater kid, so he Oh, was there you go. go. He's very uh, confident. Yeah, everyone's just talking over each other. You got your two words in, so that's cool. The stuff that I did say that I wanted to say didn't make it. Personally, Monica was the best. Banana, she had a lot of different looks in her profile. Yeah, we put Monica at the front. Mm -hmm. Everything else is I good though. I don't want to yeah, just like throw her away it's just because she's, not, she's got a great diverse portfolio. That girl looks cute. Hello. Molly. Monica. Oh, wow. Damn, they did Grace dirty. Did the Asian girl dirty. I would have definitely put her too. Mm -hmm. Collectively, we said that I think you put don't know yet. So you're not sure what you really want. So it's like, why commit to someone who's not sure what they want? So like, anyone on Tinder doesn't really know what they're looking for. They're looking for, right? they're looking for something. I'm looking for something with a fat ass. Put your Instagram bio in there. What, can I ask why? Um, it's easy because people don't think I'm real, and I'm like, oh, here's oh. my life. What? The fact that she put her Instagram bio in a thing, I was like, you're not looking for just dating. What was that supposed to even mean? People thought I wasn't real? Huh? Bro, if you look like Madison Beer or some shit, I'm like, right, let me see the Instagram. Let me check. You look a little too Tumblr, girl. That picture look a little grainy. Is that really you? You don't think I'm real? Honey, I promise you. No one thinks so. Usually from a guy's end, we usually think either they're just trying to get like followers or it's like, I've seen a lot like in the bio, it's like, never on here, DM me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, why you want me? What apps do you guys use for a relationship? Hinge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't say anything. <laughs> they just, they just put Hinge. Well, <laughs> girls, I hear all the time, why oh, I want a, a beard, and he has to be tall, and he has to be this, but it's just like, go where, you know, the person who wants you, for one, <laughs> and do they treat you right? Stop the cap. Yeah, so my episode was a little lackluster. Underwhelming, to say the least. I don't, I don't know what to make it out. What do the comments say? LMAO, the girls competing for last place. They were really kind to each other. That's girls. <laughs> it's girls for you. Yeah, dateability should have been clearly defined by the Jubilee people. The whole reveal was just two groups realizing they defined the prom differently, which feels more like an oversight of the producers and anything. They didn't even tell us what to look for. We walked in there before we started like, so what does dating mean to y'all? Like, like they told us we want to see which girls would have gone successful dates with a random person. Mm. But they didn't say that to the prompt like in the beginning or anything. They just told us that ahead of time. So I don't know. It was just confusing. I can see that. I love how the women didn't even talk about looks when they were doing this rankings. They were so sweet and objective about it. Of course they're gonna be. Because no one can say, bitch, you uglier than me. Every situation of all time is just everyone lying to everyone's face. And then later on, 
going and seeing how they actually feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People's feelings are, are, I think, held to too high a standard. And people's fear of judgment or being put in a certain box. Oh, now I feel bad because I said something. People are afraid of that now. They're afraid mm -hmm. to even speak up and say anything. You can't because everyone's going to come at you because they're so morally just. Moral of the story is just to lie. At least there was one factual comment. It says, no will really be the ghost. From the whole video, I do agree with that one. <laughs> Same thing, if y'all could go to this video and just blow it up with my name, just yeah. say anything nice, comment Noah 10 times. I love it when people are replying, who's Noah, what the hell is this? And it's just like, y'all know what's up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just thought it was cool on both of our Jubilee episodes. There's a side of the internet that doesn't know who we are. Which we, is cool, which is cool. We exist on one part of the internet, y'all that you're on right now. But now we're coexisting with Jubilee which today. Which is funny. So go on the Jubilee thing, look at the comments, look at the bullshit. Mm. But then gas us up, because we're spreading to the other parts of the mm -hmm. interweb. Yeah, we're trying to do something. All the girls' interactions were so cute to watch. All of them are beautiful, and it looked very tense when they were competing for last place. This this echoes the same message as the our cheapest, episode was the cheapest. I were the cheapest. No, no, I'm in last place. It's like you got people competing for who can have the cheapest clothes. No, I'm at the end of the dateability. Can someone stand up and like go after something for once in their life? Holy shit. But imagine mm -hmm. if we said this on there though, what would have happened? Oh yeah, they probably would have cut the <laughs> shit. <laughs> they probably would have, would have been no video. Thank you guys for watching again. Let us know what we should react to next. Love the comments. On Noah's video. Yo, Noah to go. We love y'all. Hey, SP, LLS, we made it over here to Jubilee. And then when you see a comment that says Noah or something, like it so that the whole comment section is just Noah. Appreciate y'all. Peace.